Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to take a look at the problem solving strategy, guess and check. Let's dive in. Sean has a part-time job that pays him $10.50 per hour. One week, he works 25 hours and he is paid $277.50. He realizes when he sees his check that he must have earned a raise. How much per hour is that raise? All right, so let's dive in. First step, let's make sure we understand the question. So we know that Sean earns $277.50 for 25 hours of work. He earns $10.50 plus that raise amount per hour. To devise a plan, we could guess a reasonable raise amount see if we hit the mark of $277.50 or if we're too high or too low and adjust from there. So here's the method of guess and check. Let's start with a guess of $1. Let's say he got a $1 per hour raise. We can calculate his pay in that case by taking the 25 hours that he worked and multiplying that with his normal pay amount of $10.50 plus a raise amount of $1. Multiplying that, we get a total value of $287.50. Comparing that to what he was paid, we see that is too much. So $1 is too high for the correct raise amount. Making another guess, let's half that. Let's say maybe 50 cents. So calculating his pay by doing 25 hours times $10.50 plus the raise amount of 50 cents, and we get $275. Comparing that to $277.50, we see that's not enough. So his raise amount we know is something between $1 and 50 cents, somewhere in between those. So if we make another guess, let's try halfway in between them, 75 cents. This gives us an amount of $281.25. So while we're closer, that's still too much. Okay, so let's make another guess. Let's try 60 cents. So we'll go in increments of 10 from 50, see where we get. Calculating by taking 25 times $10.50 plus that 60 cent raise, we find that would result in a pay amount of $277.50. So we've hit it, we've gotten just right, which tells us that the raise amount was 60 cents. So we can conclude by saying Sean earned a raise amount of 60 cents per hour. Looking back, did we answer the question? Yes, we were able to find the raise amount per hour. And do we think that guess and check was appropriate? Sure, are there other methods that could have worked for this problem? Most definitely, but this one worked here. All right, guys, that does it for this video on problem solving with guess and check. Until next time, we'll catch you in a future video.